to Technique Friday with Els. Today I'm so excited to share a project featuring our newest family member, James, on Puppy Planner Pages. So uh, the dice, so this is James, by the way. He is a beagle, he's Marks. Um, so these are the dice I used. Uh, and of course with the Planner Essentials, you can mix and match. So I'm uh, doing a scrubbing on the go page today. But um, you can mix and match all the different sets, of course. So I used four different ones. If you have two, you can work with that as well. It's all fun to just use any element that's in there. So the Planner Essentials I used today are uh, the Planner Essentials 3. And it has a photo frame that I used from this one. And then we have the set number 4. I used a little photo frame from that one. Oh, this is the Hello. And I used a little camera, a photo camera from that one. And this one, I used the heart, and that's number five, and the reinforcements. And again, there's reinforcements in other sets as well. And here I used a little tag from this one, from number seven, and I used these reinforcements, and I used the word that says great friends there. And then I have the hearts and paw prints die set from Suzanne, and uh, I used the paw prints, of course, in this one. And then I have the Blackboard alphabet die set, and the blackboard number die sets. And again, you can write things as well. So it's all up to you to make your own personal scrapbooking on the go page. So what I did, I created a stencil using the paw prints uh, die set and I love making stencils. So I did this uh, using the alcohol ink Yupa paper and then the translucent one from Ranger. So let me put that aside. So I colored the pages using the rusty hint and the vintage photo and I used the live uh, life-changing blending brush from Picket Fence and uh, so and I spritz a little bit of water so that's kind of because it needed to dry so I done that already and then I'm going to put a few paw prints on here as well and then I'm going to put the page together and if you see my earlier videos already for me it's not a system I do something every week I really do it as I please. So these pages were done already I have a little pocket here so I worked on the back of that one and here we have Tom and this was in March 2019 and in front of it I now have June 2019. So I know exactly when things are like when the pictures are taken but I don't have them in a specific order. That's kind of how I like to work but that's personal for everybody of course. So let me put this aside for a second. So here I have my stencil. Then I have my uh, big embossed um, ink pad, the clear. And I have a felt on here. So um, I think I'm just going to put a few paw prints here at the bottom. So kind of hold it in place and then I take some of the ink and just make sure it doesn't shift. And just add some of that clear ink here. That should be enough. So I stenciled, then I'm going to take coffee filter, and it's hard to see, but you can, yeah, it's hard to see, but I think I've, it's, I think the ink will be there, or the, then I'm going to use some black embossing powder, oh, yeah, we're good, see, and then I have my paw prints here, and um, any black embossing powder is fine, I have different ones. And then I'm going to hate emboss that. So that's that. So that's done. I'm going to grab my planner. See, that's going to be so cool. Um, see, so now I can just start building. And let me see, I kind of have things cut already. So now we can start building. Let me see. I want to do like hello and then I Let's go in there. And then I have, uh, so this is one of the little photo frames. And I backed that first with a piece of um, like light, like a cream colored cardstock. So the hello pops out better. And then this one. So this is the, for this frame, I used the top of the photo frame. So I die cut that, but uh, then cut off the word photo. And then you have just a square frame. He's such a cutie. And then I have the his name here. So that's from the, oh, I'm going to start in the back with the last one. 
So, uh, and this is of course a piece of black cardstock with our clear double sided adhesive on the back already. James. And then I'm going to the other side first to see. Just kind of building as I go. Uh, oh, I need to put reinforcements on here. So the ones I used uh, there, so these come in a set with the text and basically you can fold them around the page. But in this case, I already have reinforcements here. So I'm just going to stick them on there and then uh, cut them off. So you see, so basically you can score, you can kind of fold it around the page, but in this case, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to line them up here. And then snip it off and then turn this one around. Snip it off and I have two more. Okay, so that's my reinforcements here. And then on these ones I actually had gold ones because I, I cut that gold hard as well. And I thought I should do that here somewhere. So also again adhesive on the back already. Overlap a little bit. And then I thought it's nice to have the gold back here. So these reinforcements I cut out of a gold cardstock. Also with the adhesive on the back already. Okay. And of course those reinforcements. You can basically, you know, all prep already. You can have a bag with reinforcement. Different reinforcements, different colors. And just make it as you go. So again, I love to make like a small scrapbook slash journal. So little scrapbooking on the go because I travel a lot. So I can just take it with me. I have my selfie printer with me or a smaller printer. And then um, you can just build it. You see, so it goes there. See, then that gold comes back here. I love that. And then what do I have? Oh, I have this one. So it's Mark with the dog with James. So I stick that down. And then I have the word here, great friends. That comes on the tag set. Also adhesive on the back. And they sure became great friends very quickly. A little bit here. So I have that. And then here on the back I had a cute picture, like when I first met James. Oh, it will fit exactly here. I'm probably going to do some doodling on here or some drawing or I want to have a cute picture with Yoop and James. Here or no, I'm going to put it here on this side. And um, so that's Yoop with James. We had dogs ourselves when we were younger, but right now we travel too much. So I kind of have a shared dog now, which is great because James loves being on the mountain, of course. That one, and then okay, because James is a beagle, so he has like the fluffy ears. So I made a picture here and just met it on a piece of black cardstock. So I think that goes there. He's so cute. Okay, so now I have my little page, and then I have uh, the 12th here because uh, James is born April the 12th, so I wanted to kind of incorporate that. Let me see if I can still do that, and otherwise, I'm going to put no, maybe let's see. Uh, that's cool. And then I'm going to probably write with my white gel pen. Uh, like an accent, like I put some accent on there with the white gel pen as well. And so that's also from the blackboard numbers. And then I have the little photo camera I want to put in there as well. On the picture, and I'm going to use some white gel pen to color that, and then I have a cute little page, and then I'm going to put some white gel pen on there. So I'm using the pick my micron, the PN, so that means stands for plastic nib. So um, kind of just go around the edge a bit, and again freehand, so you don't need to. You know, it doesn't need to be neat. This is all good. 
And if you like it to be neat, of course, you're free to use a ruler. But I take a lot on the go, but not a ruler on the go. So for my scrapbooking on the go, it's going to be free hands. Yep. And then what I want to do is use my white gel pen here because I know there's a little heart here in that photo camera. So I'm going to write in that so you can actually see it because it's black on black. And this is the Sakura gel pen, so it's a very high quality, it's a very good quality gel pen, so. So it needs to dry for a little bit. Uh, let me take that out before I put, put it on there. And then I want to accentuate that 12 a little bit as well. Let me put this away for a second. See, so I'm kind of make sure that you see that. So just a little bit of white gel pen on there. So now I'm going to write here. Born on on April twelfth, so that we all know that. And then I'm going to write somewhere that he's two months old. And I can write some more, but it's just you know, just kind of playing. And of course, that's with this one. This going to travel with me and then I always have my pens with me so if I want to add something I can do that okay so I'm going to write here that he's two months old so James two months that we know how he looked then and then we are done so now I have my really fun scrapbooking on the go pages so um, there will be more pages with James of course but um, I think this is a nice start and love that dog already. So um, that's it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and download the free project sheet. See you next time.